If you are already an existing poultry farmer, my question is where do you source your bird? And if you're a beginner or thinking about starting a poultry farm, and your question is where do you source your bird? Today, we want to share our experience with you after running an experiment with 10,000 birds in Ghana for the past two years. We want to share all that with you and that is why we started the Poultry University series here on YouTube. Today, we're going to be discussing about where we sourced our birds and where you can source your bird as well. So if this is something that you're interested in, then tune in as we share all our experience here at Semenshia Farms with you. Welcome back guys and thank you so much for staying around. Today as I said it's going to be episode 6 of the Poultry University series that we've been having here at Semenshia Farms. For the past two years we have been experimenting with 10,000 birds but from various sources and just seeing their productivity, sustainability um, in terms of eggs, in terms of resistance to diseases and we've done everything and have so much data and therefore want to put it out there so that tomorrow if the next generation or even this generation that are going into um, poultry farming will have enough details to be able to make the right decisions for their farm and make sure that they are getting some value in their poultry business but before we go into that i want to introduce guys to our agro store which is in achimota i know most of you have visited um if you haven't please pass by we have all kinds of things that you need from drinkers feeders we also have everything you need vaccinations and even mostly for livestock as well so if you haven't passed by i would love to see you so pass by say hi to us and i'm very sure you'll find something that you can take to your farm to improve your efficiency and productivity at your farm let's dive into today what we're talking about so today as i said we're talking about where to source your birds so if you're a farmer and you've done some research then you know or if you haven't done any research then i'm going to tell you that you have three ways that you can source your birds number one is sourcing it within your country which mostly we call the local birds number two is that you can also source it from africa number three is you can source it from outside africa which in ghana we mostly call it the foreign birds right any country whether it be in belgium holland or wherever you you want to source it from in this video as well i have put together a pdf of all the companies that we are aware of in ghana outside ghana in africa outside africa that you can source your bread from so stay till the end of this video and i'm going to share that pdf with you so that you can go and download it for yourself if you don't know where to source your bread or you have been sourcing from the wrong place over the um, years so i'm going to take these three options which is in country wherever you are in africa and then foreign so I'm in Ghana, so we're going to be focused in Ghana. The exciting news in Ghana is that, yes, there are a lot of guys, um, old guys that have been in the industry for a while. I know about three most um, popular ones, but there are a lot of new ones that are coming, like Agro Farm is one, um, Waptech um, Farm is also another one. And basically, all what you need is a fertilized egg and they are going to be able to hatch your day old eggs for you um so that is a great initiative that is no i also want to encourage a lot of you that are watching me that have the technology and can do it we also do have incubators at um, our shop here that can actually hatch 24 birds at a time within 21 days so if you also want to hatch your fertilized eggs directly you can pass by our agro store and you will get a piece but acro farms um and what tech farms are you know doing it on a larger scale so if you want to visit them google them and you'll be able to go there and do this when i was starting my farm the top places where i could get locally in ghana were akate farms and topman farms and i actually did bought um you know um day old chicks from them for the experiment base but now as i said there are acro farms and web tech and so on do your research if you're in ghana and contact one of these guys um, and you can get your hands on a day old chick in ghana if you're in west africa as i said you know you can either do it locally or within africa 
within Africa for Ghanaian farmers who don't want to source their birds from Ghana, they can go to Cote d'Ivoire. As you guys know, I bought my birds from Cote d'Ivoire. I bought it from Fuani Farms in Ivory Coast. Um, it's one of the largest in West Africa region. And a lot of poultry farmers in Ghana actually source from them as well. They were very, very productive. Um, I'm not here to advertise or campaign for anyone, but I can share with you what I have done in the past. And I bought about 2,000 birds from Fuani Farm in Cote d'Ivoire, and they did amazingly well. Um, um, and shockingly for me so that is another opportunity for you if you're in west africa and want to source your bird within africa another option that most of you do is to to go outside of africa and if you decide to source your bird outside africa too you need to consider the kind of birds that you want for layers you should be looking at Belgium or Holland. For brawlers, most people do look into Turkey, um, which is also a new place. I've never bought anything from Turkey because as you guys know, um, I was doing only layers. So my my experience and expertise are in layer birds. Um, and therefore Holland and Belgium were where I also sourced my bird from. As I said, in after this video, I'm gonna share with you a PDF of the companies, their details, where you can call them and basically order your um, your best from if you decide to go whether locally or to go within um, Africa or outside Africa as well. The most important thing you need to know is that all these people or companies that I've mentioned, most of the time you cannot go to them directly to buy from. You will need to go to a third party which is an agent, right? So even mine, I was buying it mostly from an agent, right? And for you to be able to buy directly from these companies you need to buy in hundreds of thousands and therefore just like how we bring gold here and we need we take orders and bring it together the same way in poultry farming the day old chicks are done so there are agents in every district if you don't know go to your veterinary um, or food and agri sector in your region ask them about sourcing birds as far as you've done your research and you know where you want to source it, I'm sure they can recommend you to an agent. I did the same thing and I got access to a couple of agents where I was able to use them, right? So if you don't know about goat, we also do import goats from South Africa and we take orders from other people, come together and we bring the goats into West Africa, Nigeria, Togo, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire anywhere that you are so contact us on whatsapp if you're interested in goat farming i know this video is focused on poultry farming but if you're here and you're thinking about doing goat farming then let's get you the right breed in your farm so that you can achieve good productivity and high yield of your livestock farm there are challenges in everything there are challenges in poultry farming in importing your day old chicks in sourcing your day old chicks as well and the challenge with importing foreign birds is the time frame most people contact me and say you want to source from me i haven't started bringing in um day old chicks yet i don't know if i'm going to go because i don't want to be doing everything i think as you guys know last year beginning of this year we decided in farming in africa salmon share farm to focus on gold farming and therefore we really want to specialize and and improve the services genetics everything about livestock gold farming specifically so i don't think we want to go into the business of importing the old chicks and that's why i'm sharing this knowledge from the past one thing that i'm not able to do to most of you that contact me is to share agents number with you all the um the old chicks that i ordered from whether it's coming from abroad coming from Cote d'ivoire coming from ghana none of them came in the time frame that i was given as much prepared as i was i waited for over two three months before i actually received my birds as compared to the time frame that was given so that is the biggest challenge finding an agent that is trustworthy who is willing to actually give you the right time and update you as you receive your money is a big challenge and therefore if you're going to find an agent please make sure that you have done your research you have confirmation from other farmers before you give somebody your money so that is a challenge that i face 
and hopefully you don't have to go through that i know COVID was a whole issue on on the agent we are no more in COVID, so i'm hoping that things will be much smoother um my personal experience in breeding local um birds i don't want to ruin anyone's business as i said um there are a lot of players in the market but from my experience the birds from Cote d'Ivoire the birds from um, Holland did much much better than the birds that I had from Ghana just even with mortality rate I at a time I actually lost about 300 of my birds to diseases that even though we have vaccinated and of course people come vets came and said they weren't given the proper medication when they were hatched the eggs wasn't hatch well blah 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 they weren't strong um that was my experience it doesn't mean it was the experience of everybody but from my experience i had i was very surprised with the birds from Cote d'Ivoire 20 farms is doing an excellent job i think they have really perfected what they're doing and it really shocked me because it was a very tight competition between the birds from Cote d'Ivoire and the birds from um, Holland and Belgium as well. So right now, if I'm supposed to go back into poultry farming, I will actually probably do 50 Cote d'Ivoire, 50 um, Belgium or Holland, whichever that I can get my hands on. I'm still happy to try a few of these new, um, you know, hatcheries that have been established. And I know there is more that is going on, but so far that was my experience from like 2020 all the way to 2022, 2023. I think I kept some of my bears for more than two years um, and they were still doing great. And all the other details, I'm gonna start sharing with you guys where I'm gonna be sharing with you step by step how many eggs they were all laying how much we sold them for so that you guys have the actual data today is more about giving you all the link and my experience from sourcing um as i promised you guys i, I have put together a pdf that i want you guys to go and download it it's for free it's out there for you it has contact numbers of all the companies and those that i didn't even mention how to source from funny how to source from um you know belgium holland and some parts in africa as well if you're interested in downloading this go to www.farminginafrica.com slash sourcing birds and i think you know it's also on the screen we're going to put it in the description you guys can go there and download it and then when you're ready you can call them and hopefully after doing your research you will be able to get your birds into your farm when you succeed i succeed and therefore here at farming in africa we try to bring you all the transparent information that we have so that you can make the right decision for yourself let us know in the comments if this is useful if you guys have any feedback if you agree with me with my experience what has your experience been please share it in the comments below so that other farmers can also learn from you thank you so much for staying tuned and i'll see you in another video next week